Aloha from Oahu. I'm Pastor Vicki Winterrode with Monkey Paw Tree Ministries. And we're going to do our devotional today, Faith Food Devotions with Kenneth E. Hagan. And today is November 25th, 12.05 in the afternoon and 82 degrees. <clears throat> and I have a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Get out, frog. <laughs> and today's devotional is called A Great plan and the scripture verse is Galatians 3:13 Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law hallelujah being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree and Kenneth Hagin goes on to say part of the inheritance that Colossians 1:12 through 14 tells us we should be giving thanks to the Father for is redemption through his blood. Verse 14. What are we redeemed from? From the curse of the law. And what is the curse of the law? The only way to find out is to go to the law and see what it says the curse is. The term the law as found in the New Testament refers to the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch. Reading there, we find that the curse or punishment for breaking God's law is threefold. One, spiritual death, Genesis 2.17. Two, poverty, Deuteronomy 28. 15 through 68 3 sickness Deuteronomy 28 15 through 68 Galatians 3 13 tells us that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law and Colossians 1 12 through 14 tells us to thank God for our redemption I thank you God for my redemption hallelujah we are to thank the Father for this great plan of redemption, which he planned and sent the Lord Jesus Christ to consummate. So we have a confession to say today, and I'll say it once, and then I'll say it again, so you can say it out loud with me if you'd like. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your great plan of redemption. For your great plan of redemption, which you planned and sent the Lord Jesus Christ to consummate, which you planned and sent the Lord Jesus Christ to consummate, thank you, because I am redeemed from death. Thank you, because I am redeemed from death. Thank you, because I am redeemed from poverty. Thank you, because I am redeemed from poverty. Thank you, because I am redeemed from sickness. Thank you, because I am redeemed from sickness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And you know, the Lord has had me um, meditating on the, the divine nature of God for the last couple of years and his character and his goodness. And a couple of years ago, you know, I'd been studying under Curry Blake on divine healing. And in that I learned about how our new covenant includes, so-so includes, salvation includes healing. And that is part of when I received Christ as my savior, that was part of the package, healing. So I was thinking about how we receive salvation by faith. We receive it, we receive Christ, we believe the promise, and we ask Jesus to save us, and he comes into our hearts, and we become born again and new creations. So the same way we receive healing by faith, we receive it into our body by faith. And so I was picturing a heart in front of me with a ribbon tied around it, and it had little wings and it was flying in front of me and I was gonna receive it. It was divine healing. I was gonna receive it into my heart, into my body, like salvation. And it had writing on it and I looked at it expecting to see divine healing and it said divine nature. 
And so that really caught my attention. The Lord said that divine healing is a byproduct of God's divine nature. So I realized I needed to find out more about what is your divine nature, Lord? What's the definition? And I know the Bible says I'm a partaker of his divine nature. So I wanted to find out more about it because it sounded extremely important that I know and understand and be a partaker of it. So I have been meditating on that the last couple of years and I have studied the scriptures about it and I have gotten more revelation about it and the goodness of God and his heart toward me. I'm his beloved child and that it is his heart's desire I be healed. And if I believe he is that good, that healing is mine. If I believe he is that good and that I am his beloved daughter, healing is mine. Well, God bless you, and I hope you have a beautiful Saturday. Aloha. Mm -hmm.